The next silk reeling pattern uh, uses both arms doing outer circles but moving in together. Um, these next two actually uh, also move the hands together inner and outer circles at the same time but instead of moving to opposite points of the circle to balance each other out both move to the same points of their respective circles at the same time. For this reason you see these circles the least amount in the Tai Chi form and I practice them the least because I feel that they're the least balanced. Normally you only see a portion of them performed as a transitional movement from one part of the form to the next. But because they are possible patterns and because the body should learn to balance with them, we do perform them here. I call the first pattern splashing upward. The next pattern is the same in reverse, using two inner circles. I call this pattern splashing downwards.
That completes our silk reeling patterns of the arms. Remember when you're doing your silk reeling patterns of the arms to continue your Wuji alignment and relaxation and your Qigong breathing. Keep that internal awareness that you develop while doing your Wuji meditative standing. The idea of our Tai Chi practice is that we learn to move while maintaining a reference, a sense of that place of center, that wholeness, that Wu Ji. So while moving and keeping yin and yang in balance and harmony, in a way, we maintain our Wu Ji while not being excessively yang or excessively yin to one side or the other, we maintain balanced at center. But when one becomes out of balance on one side or the other of the spectrum, that imbalance draws us away from center and carries us in a way where we are no longer in balance. My little shifts of, of posture there were just to show a couple of examples of how we can kind of obviously be out of balance. But these things can be very subtle to the point that when you're extending an arm, you just have a monicum of tension in the shoulder, or the raise in the elbow, or a slight shift out of posture while moving away from the arm. All of these little things are the refinements that we make every time we come into practice. Another really great tool to use, or really great method, is to do a short amount of standing Wuji between each silk reeling exercise, and between the arm raising and Dantian rotation exercises. By doing that, we literally are returning to stillness and to center. In terms of where does our mind go in all of this? Well, of course we want our mind to be absorbed with what's going on in the body. And by that I mean observation, particularly in Wuji. When doing Wuji meditation, don't have any particular intention other than to anchor the crown of the head and relax and give way to gravity, to the breath, and to simply letting everything settle and find its natural harmony. When you're doing your circular patterns, it's the pattern itself that is your intention. Imagine moving energy in that direction through the body and expressing it through the hands, and that is essentially all. We turn our awareness into intent and will, and eventually as you get higher level in your practice, it will be your intent and will that will seem to move your body, and your movement will be effortless. In Chinese they call that Wu Wei, which means effortless right action.